browsing, thank you very much. Just doing a bit of spy shopping before I embark on my next dangerous assignment and uh, just brought along my young nephew. Oh wow, looks good. Uncle, look at all these listening devices and directional microphones. Oh yes, jolly good. Let's inspect the merchandise, shall we, nephew? Tonight, I'm gonna take you in my arms tonight. I'm gonna sample all your charms tonight. I've got loving on my mind tonight. I'm gonna tickle your behind tonight. A sparrow's fart? A sparrow's fart. Yes, sir. From 300 metres. 300 metres? That's correct. You're telling me this device will pick up the sound of a sparrow's fart from nearly a quarter of a mile away? Indeed. Don't believe you. <coughs> Prove it. Right. That's a family of sparrows in a far-off tree. That's the father returning with food. That's the chicks feeding. And oh, there you go. Daddy Sparrow's body bub. Awesome. That is such class. One, 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 give, give, give. Mm. Yes, it shows excellent potential. Well engineered. How much does it cost? Four hundred and thirty-eight pounds. So what? You're having a laugh, aren't you? Four hundred and thirty-eight smackers? Who could afford that? That's like two million billion light years worth of pocket. <clears throat> I think what my uncle is meaning to say is that that is excellent value. Mmm. Yes. Definitely. Actually, as part of their new promotion. The makers are running a competition to win one. It's quite simple. Prize will go to the person who can make the loudest shout. On this very day, Tosh. Thirteen years ago, before you were born, before the boys had been stitched together by Dr. Frankenstein, it was just me and Mum. My Sally. She married me and made me the happiest man alive. Tonight, we're going to celebrate. Do you realise how brilliant this thing is? Just take an itsy-bitsy moment to imagine what we could do if we had one of these. I've cracked it this year. New hiding place, they'll never get it. All their Christmas presents are hidden in... Them Jibla brothers, we're going to get them. We'll ambush them. We're hiding the... Knowledge is power. Earwigging is power, Kev. It's quite straightforward, actually. They're looking for the human with the loud shout as a gimmick to promote their earplugs. Come in, Tower! That was bells and rubber dinghies. You nearly gave me a heart attack. What do you do that for? Geronimo! Why do you keep doing... Ah, get where you're coming from, Pudge, you like. Nico! Louder than pump pants? I don't know, without actually measuring it. Smell that. Not me. That's the sweet smell of success. We're going to win that prize. Actually, there's a choice of prizes. Directional mic or a holiday. <laughs> Shh! What's all the shouting? Practice, Dad. Let's have some... What was that? Oh, my God. Todgy. Todgy! You see the treatment room. It's kind of spooky, isn't it? Don't, don't be ridiculous. There's nothing spooky about this place. 
noise, Boogie. Animal noise. Stay here. I'll go see if I can find the vet. Hello? 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 Who are you? Hmm? What are you? Don't be frightened. Are you a little puppy? Or a kitty? Hmm? Rabbit? Come to Daddy. Something just bit me. What something? I don't know, something. It's bleeding. Let's get out of here. Ah, humans. Patience. Ah, clients. Greetings. You are the humans with the sick frog. Dog. Not frog, dog. A, a dog with a bump on its head. No point in bringing it in if it's dead. Not dead. Head. If it is dead, I could always make a pair of oven gloves out of it. I think we better be going. But you should know, one of your animals bit me. <laughs> no animals in this house. <laughs> Hate them. <laughs> no, but there is a... <laughs> That'll do the trick. Now, what's wrong with this little chappy? He's the one that got knocked down. What was that pill? Can you read that? Hair pills. Huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah, bacon, eggs. Bacon, eggs. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Bacon and eggs three times a day with brown sauce. Brown sauce. Was that for the dog or dad? Both, I suppose. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have a massive bullock at the back. Worst case of diarrhea I've ever seen. Who's going to help me? You're a brave little soldier, aren't you? Daddy wasn't going to leave you for a nasty vet to turn you into oven gloves. What sort of animal was that? What a day! Oh, I am so doomed! Well, it's all very well and good you saying Pud's got a louder shout than me. But how can you prove it? A decibelometer measures the exact level of sound to a tenth of a decibel. But we haven't got one. No. Could you make one? Hmm. Yes. Tonight I want you to totally relax. Enjoy the peace and quiet of family life while I cook you the anniversary dinner of a lifetime. You don't have to do anything except soak up the quiet. Pig no! Pig What the? That was 112.2 decibels, Pat. And your scurve was oh, 111.3. Nearly a decibel quieter. You sure your decibelometer's working? Positive. Seems to be the pod has the loudest shout. Best of three. We've done five. OK, I concede. Pud has the loudest shout. And he shall be the giblet representative for the loudest shout competition. What on earth is going on? Shout measuring. And I've got the biggest. Not tonight. No more shouting. Tonight is me and Mum's special night. Remember? But he's got to practice. We'll do it in the shed. Right, Kevin. We need exact shout measurements. And we need to find out everything we possibly can about this competition. Everything we could possibly need to know about the competition. Aha! Uh -huh. The loudest shout recorded in recent competitions was Tommy Tonsil's Tomahawk. He scored 115.6. Bells. Holy cow! <laughs> this 
tonsils is going to try and humiliate you. You can't let it. you got to beat it. So how are you going to do that? Foul. Sorry? Shout! Shout! That's better. Training bud. We've got to train your voice to peak performance so we can wipe the floor with this tonsils toe rag. Oh, it really throbs. It does look sore, Buttercans. Oh, still, never mind. This is perfect. Just the two of us. <laughs> it's good. You're getting louder, but you've got to get much louder. Boys, please, tonight is special. Mum is pregnant and tired. It's our anniversary, and I'd really appreciate it if you gave us some space. Full moon tonight. Good night for love. And loonies. Husband, get in here and rub these feet. Oh, hubby. Oh, husband. <laughs> ben, are you all right? Screams. Quite loud screams too. 112.8 decibels. Let's go find out who screamed. We could be useful. Or in trouble. Ben? Is that you? Of course it's me. But 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 you're suddenly so so you just you you're so hairy. Just checking. Thought maybe you know the boys had put you up to this. <laughs> Big practical joke thing, do an eggy on mum. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Neat. Dad, that's so cool. Dad, you, you look like a werewolf. He is a werewolf. Oh, fantastic. But how come you got to be a werewolf? It's not fair. I want to be wolfy. Oh, the vets. The hair pills. The mysterious creature, the bite. The bite? Must have been infected. Are your toes hairy? You look amazing. Do you mind if I take some pictures? I'll split the profits. 80-20. Mm. Oh, hell. Go on, then. Seeing as it's you, 70-30. What about the palms of your hands? What about your butt? Oh. 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 OK, smile now. Oh, oh, no, no, grab. Make it look like you want to attack me. Give us a snarl. Big, ugly snarl. Show us your eyes. Now your teeth. Like it. Like it. Growl. Big growl. Nice growl. Can we take him to school tomorrow? Wait till I show Ronnie Spriggs. He'll lay an egg. He was so show offy when his dad had that plaster cast and all his teeth knocked out. Cool. I don't think so. Not compared to a dad who's a werewolf. Uh, stop all this now. What about a how? A how? Like wolves do. I said stop this now. You mean... That is totally and utterly and antarctically cool. Dad, this is so good. <laughs> that is loud. I wonder if a how is the same as a shout, you know, for the plug lugs competition. I suppose they are the same. Get where you're coming from, oh little pink genius of a brother. What do you mean? Dad's gonna take my place. You'll be our irreplaceable number two. Yeah, our number one reserve. Whoa, great! I've never been reserved before. Do I get a special shirt? Well, won't someone notice that he's a werewolf? Show me in the rules where it says no werewolves need apply. Doesn't. Let's go and record that hairy dad of ours and see just how loud he can howl. <gasps> You're gonna have to stop doing that. It's upsetting the neighbourhood. I don't know whether it's the full moon or all this hair, but howling makes me feel good. Could you howl for us, please, Dad? Not now. Mum and I are talking. I won't take a second. Just point your muzzle towards this micro horn. I said we're talking. Well, go on. Boys, I said... Oh, Ben, that 
That is terrible. Amazing. You're my hero. Even if you never do another interesting thing in your whole life, you'll still be my hero. That is brilliant. 114.6 decibels. Terrible. You must never do that in public. Could you do that for us tomorrow, uh, down the precinct? Anyone hears that, they'll call the animal warden, lock you up, throw away the key. Should be a good crowd. Uh, you need to be at the recording booth at 10.30 sharp. Promise me you won't step a foot outside until we get this sorted. Well, I'm really worried. What if this never goes away? What if you're hairy forever? I'm really worried. What if this all goes away and Dad's not hairy anymore? What if all I can ever do is howl? What if he wakes up and he can't howl? I'll we'll be totally nudged. I'll be nudged. What if I'm destined to be a hairy thing forever? No, no, don't worry, baby. It'll, it'll be all right. It's going to be all right, isn't it? Tell me he's not going to suddenly change back to normal overnight. I bet you'll just wake up and find you've turned back to normal. I really, really wish that in the morning everything was back to normal. I really, really wish that Dad's still a werewolf in the morning. I'm not Fiona in Shrek. She thought Shrek wouldn't love her if she wasn't pretty anymore, but he did, didn't he? Mm-hmm. He loved her even more for being ugly. You still love me? Of course I love you. <gasps> no matter how hairy you are. Morning, darling. Wolfie's brought you a lovely cup of tea. Oh, Ben, darling, I am so <laughs> gutted. Totally, utterly gutted. Just like that. Changed overnight. How gone and everything. Kill bummer. What are we going to do about the competition? Every time I look at that sound sniper, I get goosebumps in places I never knew I had places. It is rather yummy. I wish Dad was doing this now. I don't want to let you down. What if my lungs just aren't loud enough? Dad, try again. What? Give us a howl. Go on, howl. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, don't ever do that again. <sighs> Look into my eyes. Look only into my eyes. My eyes. You, Pugmeister, can do it. Shout. Your lungs are... His tonsils! And stepping up to the mic now is Tommy Tonsils Tomahawk, the current champion. If any champions are allowed one shout, but contenders two. Yes, I think he's ready to go and... Ballistic! <laughs> Shout. We'll just take a reading and yes, it's a massive 115.3 decibels. I can't beat that. My highest is only 113. You can do it, Pud. You just gotta feel the force. Be the shout. Be the shout. Will you come on? But it's Pud shout. Well, hurry up with it. I want to look at shoes. What on earth are those nerdy little men fiddling with? They're resetting for Pod's voice. Oh, please, can't these people find proper jobs? Hurry up, you imbecile! That was an unofficial shout there by Mrs. Giblet, mother of the next contender, but uh, quite the shout. Scored uh, 114.6 decibels, a little under the decibel short of uh, Mr. Tomahawk. Uh, you can have another shout, Mrs. Giblet, if you'd like to try and beat the limit of... Uh, oh, ask me something difficult, you... is that? There's actually a choice of prizes, Mrs. Giblet. If you don't fancy the super sniper, 
The alternative prize is a week's holiday. A week's holiday for the whole family in Quietville. It's the quietest little place in the whole big noisy world.